then, are you ready for a sales update with sex appeal? Then you've come to the right place. I think I'm doing a Celtic Traders there, so I apologise. I didn't, I didn't actually try and do that. It just kind of happened. Uh, so yeah, I'm sorry for stealing your fund of the Celtic Traders, but you know, oh well. Right, I've got to move over this way a little bit. I'm not being unprofessional. I'm just looking it down at my phone so I can see the sales. Um, I've gone for the kind of I don't know what this look, what you would call this look. I mean, it's kind of like smart casual, but it's in a really weird way. Um, so yeah, first sale is something that you saw not long ago on Thursday Talks. It was the Phoenix Knight box set series one and two that I picked up, as I say, not long ago for two ninety nine. Yeah, it was two ninety nine. I was thinking it was three ninety nine, but no, it was two ninety nine. And I got twenty nine ninety nine really, really quick. I might have actually undersold that by a couple of quid actually because. I priced it, and I thought I priced it fairly right, but then when it went to the warehouse, it got checked in and sold within, like, hours, so, I don't know, maybe I could have pushed a little bit more on that, but still, I was happy for, um, you know, uh, three quid. Um, next was this Spider-Man Edge of Time Xbox 360 game. This was from my um, really big haul of video games from a guy called Clint. Um, yeah, really, really good. Um, really, really happy with that haul. Um, I am in profit on that haul now. Yeah, I should be. Um, and uh, yeah, twenty nine ninety nine for that game. Pretty sought after game that one uh, on the Xbox three sixty. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, next was this Lego seven zero three uh, six zero three. The uh, Wade Zeppelin, it's called. It's a Ninjago set. Got thirty four ninety nine for that, and I paid nine ninety nine in charity shop. It went within a few days, you know, it's fourth quarter, as soon as I sent a new and sealed Lego set up there, you know, if you get the price right, you know, it's just gone, so, yeah, that happened, that that went, that was really cool. Uh, Lego Friends 41092, four now, I picked up a load of stuff from a local news agent, um, well, it's semi, yeah, semi-local, it's not in my nearest town, but it's in a fairly local town to me. And I picked up a load of stuff, a load of uh, retired se uh, sealed uh, Lego sets, and they were on for retail price, they were just left on the shelf, and they had been stagnating there for about a year or so, and no one had picked them up, so um, they, they ended up becoming retired while still left on the shelf in that newsagent. Um, which is quite funny, really, because you would have thought someone else like myself, a reseller, would have gone in and picked them up. But anyway, I went in, I picked up a load of sets, uh, well, I say a load, about five or six different sets, something like that. And uh, this one was at retail at, I believe, eleven ninety nine or twelve ninety nine. wasn't more than twelve ninety nine anyway. And as you can see, someone in Europe, on one of the European markets, uh, actually the uh, Italian market, um, paid €68 Euros for that, so I was really, really happy with that one. Um, next was a crazy sale. Um, it's amazing how much these have come up in value. This poly bag owes me about £2.50 in a bundle that I sniped off eBay. Um, and yeah, it's just a little Lego Harry Potter poly bag. It's set 30110. And I got €68 Euros again for that poly bag. Now, that poly bag has like. 30 or 40 pieces in, something like that, it's a tiny little, you know, just one of them little poly bags, promo poly bags, and uh, yeah, crazy, crazy, obviously, this shows the power of um, Lego investing, with the right theme, with Harry, Harry Potter was a crazy, crazy theme to, to invest in Lego, and uh, the prices of the sealed stuff just continue to go up and up, so yeah, really, really happy with that sale, um, Something that I don't, I haven't done much of this year actually, which is consoles. So, saw this Sony PS2 console for 55 quid. Pretty good price for quarter four. You could probably push a little bit more if you want to push your luck a little bit. But, um, yeah, 55 quid for a uh, PS2 console. Pretty decent in quarter four. Um, and yeah, quite happy with that. Obviously, as I said, I've not done as many consoles this year, but. Uh, the ones that I have done, I've, I've been happy with. So, yeah, that's quite a nice little sale there. Uh, a 20Q, so this is a uh, Radica Games 20 Questions. Brand new and sealed, €85 Euros, um, on, again, one of the um, European markets, actually. Italy, again, the uh, Italian market. Uh, yeah, 85 euros. I was sniping these for like 12 to 15 quid, that sort of range. I even picked one up uh, for £1.99 in a charity shop as well. So really, it was quite a low cost compared to the sale price there. So yeah, very, very happy with that one. Um, Bournemouth and Poole 
uh, brand new and sealed Monopoly, ninety nine ninety nine. Now I've sniped this a long, long time ago on eBay, a long time ago, like beginning of the year, and I sniped it for twenty five quid. And I thought, oh, I've made a mistake on this. It, it, it just wasn't going to go. It wasn't going to go. It wasn't going to go. I had it recalled back to me from the warehouse, <laughs> and then I held it here for a few months, and then I sent it back in. And uh, then it finally went. So I probably did have a bit of cost in it, you know, after the 25 quid. But certainly, you know, there's still some good money on it. I got 100 quid. Um, but as I say, I did have to actually get it recalled back to me. And then I sent it back in. So, yeah. Uh, but that was a bit of a funny one. It was, it was, uh, you know, it was a good sale overall. But it was a bit of a hard sale throughout the year. It was something that was a little bit sticky or seemingly was a bit sticky. But, you know, I did think when I was buying it all those months ago, I thought, this is going to go in quarter four, and it did. So, yeah, I can't really uh, blame that one. Um, Lego 4124, uh, the Winter Fun set. And someone on the listing has spelt the title wrong and just put Winner, winner Fun set. I think you'll probably be able to see it on the, on the screen there, but Winner Fun seasonal box set. Um, but, yeah, I got $29.99 for that. I bought I think four of them for £10 each so yeah and I think uh, no was it two of the no I got two of these and I got four of another set a different set a different seasonal box set so two of these and both of them have gone for 29 99 so 20 quid into 60 quid I'm happy with that between the both of them uh, I think this is the final sale yep um, so this was brand new and sealed Pictionary picked this up ages ago sort of early summer time in the charity shop uh, in charity shop local to me um for 4.99 and as you can see there i got 74.99 brand new and sealed so yeah pretty happy with that so they are 10 of my amazon sales i'm gonna do an ebay sales update as well because I've not done a sales update in a few weeks now, so I wanted to do a, share a few of my Amazon sales, and then obviously I'll do a bit more of an in-depth eBay sales update. Uh, I've been selling a fair bit more on Amazon as we're in quarter four, but still, I'd say at the moment my eBay is um, still kind of the workhorse or uh, working a little bit harder than Amazon. But this month, certain, definitely this month, Amazon has started to shoot up again uh, to where it needs to be, really. So I'm quite happy with that. Anyway, I will leave it there. If you did like the video, please do give it a like down below. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, if you want to drop a comment down below about any of the sales you have seen in today's video, then please do so. And I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys.